You may recognize Patrice from his many speaking roles in movies, but only if you've sat in front of him in a theater. Um, I know. I know, some of these jokes may come off racist, which is why it's important to remember that Rosa Parks fought so Patrice could take three seats on the bus. <laughs> Good fat joke. So please welcome a guy who looks like Chris Farley after a mine shaft explosion, the very funny Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about these roasts in the comments. What's your favorite one? What's the weakest one? Thank you very much. I, uh, it's just strange because I had all this planned shit, but I didn't, like, I didn't know William Shatner was going to be quasi, like, an old racist man, like, but, <laughs> but everybody's giggling, like, whoa, he's, but, you're a fucking asshole, Captain. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, I don't respect him, but like, I'll respect him because he's fucking Captain Kirk. But I think he might be racist because his hair plugs look like black girls' pussy hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Like, I wasn't going to be mean to Anthony. I, I don't know him. I never met him. Like, like, so I'm sitting here watching him, and I'm like, he has way too much confidence. Like, in my world, he's an open micer. Nobody knows him, and nobody should. Like, nobody should fucking know Anthony. Uh, I refuse to learn his last name. <laughs> I learned Galifianakis. That's the last <laughs> shitty last name this nigga's going to learn in this fucking funky town. Galifianakis. Very mouthful. He reminds me of a medieval restaurant waiter. Like... His old demeanor, like, hello, may I welcome to, and you just want to go shut the fuck up and bring me my giant turkey leg, you <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> How the fuck can I be too mean after all this shit? I can't believe it. I'm dying of diabetes, and you motherfuckers are like, oh, that evil fat puff, you know. <laughs> I consider Seth an icon, I do. Like, I got a critique about Seth. It, it's too much Seth. It's, like, it's almost, it, it, it's almost like he's jealous of his own creation. <laughs> Wait, he wants to prove I'm better than the cartoons. <laughs> but he's not better than the cartoons. See, but I think the problem is with Seth is that he don't have a partner. You know, like the, the South Park guys or Hanna-Barbera. I know we've read that old story that uh, Hannah once said, I'm bigger than Yogi, and Barbara slapped the shit out of him for saying that. <laughs> Seth needs a Barbara <laughs> <laughs> to slap him and slap him twice. Once to say, hey man, don't forget why people love you. And two, just say you're gay. N no. <laughs> No straight man writes that many show tunes. That's a fact. <laughs> I love Mike Tyson, and I don't have much to say. I, I, as a fan of Mike Tyson, as a fan, as a, I, I love him. And I don't mean, yeah, I love Fuck him. you. I, I love you, man. I'm just disappointed and hurt at how much comfort white people have around you now. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Steve-O, this new subdued, not drunk you, it fucking stinks, man. <laughs> Ride that whole Steve-O shit till the wheels come off, man. Let a fucking leech bite your eyeballs and do some goofy shit. Even your fake puncher, it just, you disturb me with your lack of edge. You just like, <laughs> why are you still looking at me like that, Mr. Shatner, sir? You're like, boy, I had more for that nigga than I didn't say it. I should have said it, because he's an asshole. <laughs> You're telling it as it is. <laughs> You're telling and it man, like it is. Jeff Ross, I, I, I love you, I guess. <laughs> Look, Jeff Ross is, is a legend. His funniness is a legend. But when I say legend, I mean a myth. He's not that funny. Like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. Like, we all believe they exist, but who really ever saw it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, he's great at roasting. That's his thing. But uh, general stand-up. I, I t I've turned down many roasts. I have about three or four of them. And I said yes to this, and I'm I dead ass serious. I said yes to this because uh, it, I, I respect Charlie Sheen. I do. I, I say yes because I respect not 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 his body of work. Like not. <laughs> He's a good sport. It's all, it's all been very Christian Slayer-ish. Like, it just like... <laughs> he sucks, but he's, he's good. But he sucks at the same time. I think that his stand that he made uh, against the business, I think this is a fucked up business, but he stood up, he, he still survived, uh, and he proved that nobody can keep, like, a sheen down, you know? They can keep uh, Estevez down, because his brother. <laughs> and he's the good one. That motherfucker do everything right, and that nigga's career is over. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Where's Mighty Ducks 40? Fuck Tiger Blood. He's selling his own blood to make money. <laughs> but I, I want to say to your eyes, man, I, 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 I I love that you stood up to what you thought was wrong, and uh, I, I'm impressed by you, and I wanted to say that. So, thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Y'all take care. Thank you. What a champion. A champion. I think we're going to have to do elephant in the room. Oh, I'm just here. You know, you got something in your hair. Hold on. Oh, there, there it is. Anyway, <laughs> um, he's a champion, right? Uh, I think I'm going to have to check out uh, uh, Elephant in the Room for one of the specials. Um, from what I understand, it's amazing. I did see one bit on there about um, kidnapping white girls versus kidnapping black girls, which was hysterically funny. But what did you guys think of this set? Let me know. You know I love these roasts. I love them when they're clever. I love them when they're dirty. I love them when they're just blunt and mean because you only roast the ones you love. So sad that we lost him as a comedian and you hear Bill Burr talk about him and you just I really wish I could have known him and just talked to him he seemed like a smart guy I know he said a lot of like inflammatory things but he's a comedian that's what they do and quite frankly comedians are mentally ill the vast majority of them it's just the truth it's the humor is how they deal with their pain I hope that sitting down watching this with me has helped you a little bit with any pain you're having or help you alleviate the day. If you're having fun with me, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, next time I'll have beer. So, okay. But not, not, not really. I can't really give you a beer because I'm, I'm not in your room, but, but I still like you.